Odds are, if you run a Windows PC today, you're going to be suffering from, from a slowdown caused by uh, an excess of temporary files. And uh, by temporary files, I mean like temporary internet files, um, partial files, like partial downloaded files, partial music files, um, basically system, system files or any type of file period that's just unwanted and can be cleaned up. And I'm going to show you three programs today and how to use them to make your computer run faster. The first program we're going to use is called CC Cleaner. It's a real basic program. Uh, it deletes temporary files and it also cleans up the registry, which is good because that's another source of slowdown in your system. Now I want to have links to these so you can just go straight to these pages. And uh, we're on the download page for CC Cleaner, so I'm just going to go ahead and start to download it. I'm going to click Download from File Hippo, is this link here. I'm going to go up the upper right and click Download Latest Version. A window will pop up eventually <laughs> and you're just going to hit save and the next program we're going to get is called a BEXO free registry cleaner this is a deep registry cleaner it's good for cleaning out all the gunk that gets inside of your registry so I'm going to go down to here and click download a BEXO free registry cleaner and then save and it's going to be saved to my desktop now the next program is cleanup and this is a program that kind of gets what CC cleaner misses and uh, I'm going to have you go to a direct link for their page for this because the author likes to have you go through lots of different pages to get to this point and I thought I'd just save you some time so we're going to click here, clean up and save file I'm going to get rid of Firefox because we no longer need it I'm going to walk you through quickly the installations uh, first one's CC Cleaner and this first window here we're going to hit OK and this next one we're going to hit Next and then I agree and then next you're not going to want to have this bottom option checked uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and check that because we're not here today install uh, Yahoo toolbar <laughs> so and this is also kind of annoying so and check that <laughs> so I don't need those so let's get rid of all that I'm going to hit install and then finish and that finishes that one up so you just go ahead and delete that and now we're going to do a Bexo Let's double click this guy and hit next on this window. I agree on this window. Install and finish. Just going to minimize it. And get rid of uh, these two files here. And now we're going to install cleanup. We're just going to put a checkbox, a check in this box here. I agree. Then next and then start. Uncheck that one and hit OK. And close this guy and minimize this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start up my programs here real quick. Now here's CC Cleaner. Now when you first install this program you're going to have to set these settings. So I recommend you check everything here and it's going to bring up a warning for most of these. So just ignore that and hit OK. But with Internet Explorer and, other, and all these other checkboxes here. We're going to make sure that you're, you're not getting rid of something that you don't want to get rid of. So if you like your history, you don't want to check that. You know, just, get, just keep your eye open for that kind of stuff. But me, I'm get rid of all of it kind of guy. Now, the one I do leave unchecked is Windows Size slash Location Cache. You kind of do need that. So we're just going to leave that one unchecked. But the rest of them can go. Now I'm going to go up to the top here and go under Applications. And make sure I have other things checked that maybe have gone unchecked that maybe I don't really need. And Once I finish that off, I'm going to go down to the lower right hand corner and hit Run Cleaner. This window will pop up. We're just going to hit this checkbox here and hit OK. And it's going to go through the process of removing that information. That's it. Now it, I've run this recently so it didn't have to do too much work. But typically uh, it'll remove probably about two to three hundred megabytes just by itself. Uh, you know, a pretty average home computer. Uh, me had a lot of stuff in my cycle bin, so that's all gone. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and minimize this program, and we're going to go to cleanup. Now this one we have some options we got to set, so we're going to go options. We're going to run this all the way to the top, and an error is going to come up. We're just going to hit OK and OK, and we're going to make sure this right here is unchecked because that is really annoying. <laughs> This one, also uncheck it because it'll make it take longer. And I mean, you can run this once a month or so, but you really don't need it. Then you're going to want to make sure you're not deleting your favorite places, you know, bookmarks and stuff like that. 
because it would not make you happy if you got all finished with this and uh, you didn't have any bookmarks. So, uh, alright, and that's about all we need to do here, so we're just going to hit OK. And then clean up. Typically, it might pop up a window that says yes or no or cancel, and we would just hit no because it's asking you if you want to see the demo mode, and we're just really wanting to clean up the mess, so. Alright, and it seems like it's done, so once we read this message here, uh, we can hit close. We're going to hit no because we don't want to log off. Then we're going to go over to Abexo and registry cleanup right here. And this guy's going to deep clean the registry. We're just going to make sure all of this is checked. I'm going to hit next. And then we're going to hit run. Now this guy takes a while even if your registry is clean because it's, it's going to nitpick. So we're just going to wait for this guy to finish doing its thing. And you'll know it's getting close to done when it says volatile right here. It's the, I think that's the last step of this program. So you're not going to want to run uh, CC Cleaner at the same time while you do this because uh, both of them have registry cleaners in them. And if you're using two programs to clean a registry at once, uh, it probably would not be good if one of them were to make a mistake and possibly delete something something was like the other program was trying to read. So we just kind of don't want to mess with that. Just gonna wait for this guy to finish up. Now, the older your PC uh, becomes, uh, the larger your registry will be, and you're gonna need to clean it more often uh, to kind of keep the size down and keep your computer from sitting around and thinking about nothing for hours on end a month and we're almost done volatile environment and we're done we're just gonna hit make sure these are checked and hit delete if you have a lot of these it could take about a minute and a half for it to finish but since mine's finished I'm just gonna hit back and then we'll hit exit then I'm gonna go to CC cleaner again go to registry and hit scan for issues Now it's going to come up with a lot of stuff. Now CC Cleaner does this in a different way. You're going to need to run this several times. So when you hit scan for issues and you get errors, you're going to want to go down to the right and hit fix selected issues. Now I'm just, I usually hit no, but I'm just going to hit, hit no in this instance here. And I want to hit fix all selected issues. Hit OK. And hit close. And then I'm going to run it again. Because sometimes when you have registry error and you fix it, it might uncover another registry error. So you, I usually run it until I basically see this message right here. No issues were found. Now at this point, you can close this and you can go ahead and restart your computer and when it comes back up uh, you'll probably need a defrag because you probably cleared up some space on your hard drive. But uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, thanks for watching.